Hi, this is Sierra, and this is Reading Arsenal. Today I just decided to spice things up and move to a different location, because uh, my room is a mess, so... Uh, and it's really disorganized, so I don't want to film in there right now. This video is a review for Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. It was published in 2011 by Quirk Books, and it is a YA paranormal supernatural novel. The story follows 16-year-old Jacob who, when he was younger, learned of fantastical stories from his grandfather about uh, these children that he stayed with in an orphanage during World War II. And later, uh, when Jacob is older, tragedy strikes and Jacob takes it upon himself to go this orphanage and find out the truth of whether or not these stories are actually real. This book, as you can probably tell, contains found photographs throughout the story. So an example of a photograph like like this and they're all apparently real photographs so i th it's really cool my initial thoughts about the about this book before i started reading it was that it's going to be creepy and mysterious and i thought it was going to be generally a horror story but um it was elements of those things but mostly miss peregrine's was fantastical, supernatural, and this is kind of a spoiler, but it's kind of sci-fi in a sense, um, but mostly fantastical. When I was first reading it, I could not put it down. The beginning of the story uh, where the... I'm not going to reveal too much about what happens because it's kind of integral to the story, but when the tragedy happens, that was really cool and the whole aftermath of it and Jacob deciding to go to uh, the mysterious place where his grandfather had spent a, a long time. But after a while, I did end up putting it down for about a week or so and I like, I completely spaced once I went back into it. I was like, what is happening? I don't remember. But slowly I started to remember and I don't know if that hindered the reading experience for me. That being said, I don't really have a legitimate reason for why I stopped reading it. A uh, couple things that made this not exactly a five star book for me were that the sort of plot details involving the hollows and the whites who were like uh, the villain type characters um, sort of I found it confusing like the story behind how they were created I couldn't really recall um, I couldn't really recall what was said about them and I kind of eventually kind of picked it up. Um, I also confused the children in the orphanage a lot because um, obviously uh, Jacob does meet the peculiar children and I, I just I kept mixing up their names and not remembering what peculiarity they had. Um, but I hope in the next book that I might catch on because um, I, the only names I really remembered and who had what power was for Emma, Millard, and Enoch. So yeah, but uh, they probably had the coolest powers out of the bunch. Um, to be quite honest. Uh, another thing that I kind of found a bit lackluster was the character of Jacob. So we follow Jacob's perspective. 
It seemed at points throughout the whole book that he didn't seem to have a personality. And like less the main hero and more of like, if this is the right word, a vessel for the storyteller sort of thing and just for um, him to ask questions to reveal more plot details and it was it was okay but the certain aspects of his character that I enjoyed were good ones. Uh, it was really hard to pinpoint what I actually liked about Jacob and what I could define as his most um, character-like traits, but I really like the fact that he, w even though in the end it didn't seem like it, but he was diagnosed with a mental illness and I thought it was very interesting that he was going to see a therapist and all this stuff so I kind of related to him in that sense but otherwise I don't think when Ransom, Wig Ransom Riggs was writing Jacob he didn't really make him as his own person. Otherwise I thoroughly enjoyed the writing style. I thought it wasn't exactly descriptive of the characters. Uh, the photos did most of that work. Um, but I thought it was descriptive of the feelings and the, um, the feelings that the characters expressed and the atmosphere. And I also felt that settings were very eloquently described and the, the hollows were definitely described well. Uh, <laughs> at times I thought the photographs kind of took away from the novel at certain points with certain photographs. Um, I would sometimes wonder, well, why do we need to have um, this photograph? But um, overall, they did add to the story um, just at points, you know, they were distracting. My favorite character in the story would probably have to be Emma. She had a very sparky personality and she was courageous and she was selfless. For one of the uh, most destructive peculiarities, she seemed like she was very caring and sensitive. Overall, I would recommend uh, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children to people who enjoy supernatural novels or paranormal novels or uh, fantasy type things involving people with abilities. My rating for this novel is a solid 3.5 out of 5 stars. Um, I basically gave my reasoning why as to why that is. Um, but overall I really enjoyed it. 3.5 isn't a bad book in my opinion. Uh, it just wasn't perfect, um, but I'm definitely going to continue on with this series. I hope you enjoyed my review of Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Uh, please let me know your thoughts on the book down below. Um, I yeah, what what did you think about my qualms with the book, and do you agree or disagree? Uh, please let me know. Please do like and subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye!